So, maybe you have asked yourself, what the heck has T to do with steam engines? I mean, besides of the fact that this is hot water and hot water becomes steam, and besides the fact that I fill my steam engines with tea, uh, <clears throat> I mean hot water, to be honest, nothing. And this is the exact reason why it's in the video. So this, my ladies and gentlemen, this is a steam engine. Or better, this will become a steam engine. I disassembled everything, cleaned everything, over 170 parts, when it would took me only one minute per part now it gets a little bit complicated in fact let me just calculate 170 parts times one minute you see over 170 minutes of work to be honest in real life it took me a lot longer because of reasons Okay, back to the text. Over 170 parts are laying here. One big, one small. Everything is there. So I thought it would be fun to make a time-lapse video. The easiest way to start is with the heating block of the steam engine. So this is the D16EL. Um, this one has an electronical heating system. So um, this is the plate that I'm now installing. Um, this comes with, uh, a, with a screw terminal and this is quite uh, complicated to install because there is uh, not re really not a lot of space. I also have some troubles here to insert all the, uh, the rubber stoppings because they are, these are quite old. This model is around 20 to 30 years old and uh, it was used a lot so I'm not I'm really sensitive to not break anything. Uh, now I I place uh, I place this uh, in the chamber itself uh, on the base plate just to have a little space to put it and to hold it in place. Now the actual most annoying part is uh, to put the uh, looking glass um, on top of it because it is really not not en enough space to put the screws in there and uh, I have to do it with the pliers and, they are, they, and the small nuts are constantly falling off the pliers so it's really annoying there. Um, yeah, then after everything is done and set smoothly with everything in uh, with everything in place then the, the pipe comes in place, the, com com the pipe comes, uh, comes also uh, figures also uh, the release valve, so there is a weight on it and uh, there is not a spring load that the steam itself pre uh, presses uh, against the valve and uh, if the pressure gets high enough then it lifts the weight. The next part here is the valve, uh, sorry the piston itself, the piston I have checked the piston but I have not completely uh, disassemble the piston because this is really a critical part and um, when it's not necessary I do not do it because um, when this breaks or, or uh, gets damaged then you have to change the, the complete uh, engine itself and this is really expensive. So now I, I checked if the, if the flywheel gets enough space and the flywheel has uh, uh, gets smoothly and and if when everything is done I start to complete the actual lever mechanism so it is a one piston engine so I have one piston and one uh, and one guidance um, uh, everything is held together with um, uh, with one screw uh, uh, and this screw actually uh, tensions all the all the uh, the flywheel and the and the stuff in place. So when this is in tension, then it does not uh, damage the rest of the machine. 
So yeah, now I install a piping. So this is not normal. Normally the piping goes straight through, but I have cut it in twice so I can disassemble the engine and I won't solder it back together because uh, um, when I would solder it in place, then I would lose the, uh, the flexibility to, uh, to um, take it apart as I please. So, after an eventful building, the next thing is lubing everything up. So, I have to test now if everything is okay, if I can really start the engine and when everything is okay, then I will completely assemble the build. First of all, the most important Euler is this. Good. Perfect. So now let's start the heating process. Let's hope I don't get dark. Huh. Perfect. 300 watts straining.
all together the tests run really run really very well there is no major leaks or anything i saw two two three small points that i should uh, examine further but the machine runs really really smooth and also really um uh quiet so there is no rattling there is no 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 thing it it's just all in all i'm really really happy how it turned out okay let's cool it down and then continue with the final assembly So, thanks for watching, that's all it. I know I had a lot of fun with renovating this engine and it moved way more better than I have expected. So it was clearly not, not just an optical uh, upgrade, but also it works way smoother than I have, than I have expected. And uh, so, yeah. Oh, excuse me. So, thanks a lot for watching and see you for the next steam engine. Ah, damn it. If this video comes good, I have to buy another steam engine. Ah, whatever.